everybody. Welcome to Lunatic Froggy and the Lunatic Dad's Podcast Asylum. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. Well, they can't enjoy it until I officially get it to fucking begin by saying, Come out! Yeah! All right, Dad. Guess what we're talking about today? What is the subject, my darling? How alcohol affects the youth of America. Holy shit, you picked one that is up my powerhouse, girl. Let me tell you. Now, everybody knows Lunatic Dad's got six sons, two daughters, and my daughters, they don't drink, okay? They don't. They're very good. the boys. (laughs) Oh, every last one of them SOBs and everything else. Now, now let's get serious, people, okay? I'm not going to be joking around too much in this video and everything else. What I feel with alcohol if you started at a young age and everything else one you're able to go ahead and get addicted faster and easier that's for damn sure two when when these young kids are drinking all this alcohol and everything else they don't realize the damage that they're doing to their bodies and their organs and everything else three it also believe it or not if you start at a very very young age it actually stunts your growth not physically it stunts your growth mentally and parents, please, if you got young ones or whatever, and, they, and you're out, say, out, out in the yard like dad does and everything else, and you're drinking and everything else, and you're not paying attention to the kids and everything, please pay attention to your kids when you're having family parties and everything else. You may be with your brothers, sisters, moms, dads, or whatever, chilling out, having some drinks. But remember, everything you do, your actions while you're drinking and everything else, them young kids when they're 13, 14, 15 are so impressionable and they're going to go ahead and try to mimic what daddy does because or mommy, either or. And especially with the females, females, they will go ahead and most females that I know of, like my daughters, they look up to me more than they look up to my own wife. Okay. And they, they. I'm surprised that back in the day, everybody knows dad was a lush. You know, I'll be the first to admit it. I drank like a SOB. I mean, hell, you've seen it on YouTube back in the day when I was live streaming drunk as hell and everything else. Not realizing that I actually did more damage to Kyle by doing that because I'm basically showing him, hey, you can act like an ass, you can drink and everything else. And there's always the next day. Sometimes uh, the kids don't wake up the next day. It's called alcohol poisoning. And right, everything and else. they don't know anything about that because they're not taught about that. Exactly. And sometimes a lot of people will also go ahead and use alcohol as an excuse as a youth. And every oh, I was drunk. I was drunk. I was drunk. Well, eventually you're going to get them little cherries behind you, which is called a police officer, people, if you don't know what the hell our yep. dad's talking about. And you think he's going to buy that excuse? Well, I'm only 15. Yeah, you're 15 and you got a bottle of vodka in between your legs or whatever the case may be. Where did you get that from? What about the, the ramifications of when uh, adults go ahead and give the, they say, say the kids sleep over somewhere. Pay attention to your kids. If they're sleeping over by a friend's house and everything else and they come home and they smell like alcohol or whatever the case may be, go let the parents know because maybe them parents got a cabinet of alcohol that they don't know that their friend has broken into or whatever these exactly. are things in which these are things that dad went through when i was younger and everything how do you think dad drank when he was younger i'd be like i'm going over by my friend's house or whatever because i knew if i drank in the house i'd get my ass whooped by my dad he there's no way he was gonna let me drink at that age but hey guess what i had a buddy that had a cabinet from his parents down in the basement they had a pool table and everything and you know how easy it is just to take a little bit here a little bit there a little bit here and then nobody has no damn clue what the hell we were doing and i was drunk off my ass and everything else but by the time i came home or whatever you know i did the mouthwash thing gurgled it and everything else but hey trust me us old people i can just look at you and tell if you drank or you've been drinking all night or not you ain't got to smell like it i can just look into your eyes like you're completely just fucking dead yeah and now a lot of that has to deal with the simple fact that you're out there drinking all night and partying all night. You come home. Oh, I was, we stayed up late. We were just talking. It's automatic science that, no, you weren't just talking. You were doing something else. Yep. And don't forget, people. And did you ever see, like, when with these DUIs and everything else, especially now the way it is with a DUI, which is called driving underneath the influence. Now, it's also uh, with we too, DWI which driving while with weed and everything else. But the point I'm trying to make is 
the youth of America and everything else. You need to wake the fuck up. If you're going to do this shit and everything at a young age and you get pulled over, remember, that sticks on your driving record. It's going to increase how much you're going to pay for your auto insurance. is going to fly through the fucking roof. They're going to make you go do put a breathalyzer inside your car in order to start it. By the way, ask Kyle. Cost them five fucking grand. Five grand. Do you believe that? That's how much that damn thing. If your vehicle don't start, you get caught driving something else, you're in deep shit. Because yeah. it's on your record that you're supposed to be driving this vehicle and only this vehicle, unless you have multiple vehicles and multiple breathalyzers at five grand a pop. Let me ask you something, Lunatic Froggy. Yes. If what do you feel about parents who just basically brush it off? when they their kid gets caught drinking alcohol at 13 14 15 years old and everything else and then the same parents when the kid is older complaining that their kid has an alcohol problem and everything else yet knowing that what do you think of people that do that well, to their own children okay so uh be point blank my mom would rather us drink in front of her than drink at a party uh now remember she had two girls so we would drink at home instead of go out and party and get rubied. My mom could moderate. My mom taught us moderation. And what age was this? 14. Okay. But what okay. my mother didn't tell us is alcohol. You can easily become an alcoholic, but because you use the alcohol to mask the pain of trauma or just teenage teenage anxiety, you can easily become an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, I was one of those alcoholics. Mm -hmm. um, if it was, this is where I will give my ex-husband props. If it was not for my ex-husband, Dwayne, stepping in and saying, it's alcohol or your child. Um, I wouldn't have been taking care of my daughter. Somebody else would have. I was going to a bar every night drinking. Mm -hmm. Half mm -hmm. the time I woke up not even remembering what the night before was. And, and people, by the way, that is called a blackout. Okay? Right. That is called a blackout out so that you're aware of if you don't remember anything that happened the previous night the the uh, aa will tell you that like i said dad went to AA way back in the day and everything is that they will tell you if you're having blackouts and everything else you are already an alcoholic you're yeah. already that alcoholic just thought right. i let you know and it got to the point where he's like you got one of two choices alcohol or your daughter and <clears throat> I chose my daughter, which means I had to move back in with him, which was half the reason I was drinking, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I also used it to mask a lot of pain and trauma from when I was a child. Mm -hmm. So And, and the alcohol was used as a masking agent. It was a vicious right. circle to what, what you were going through and everything else. And, you know, a lot of times people... Got to understand that alcohol is just like a loaded gun, okay? You can have the safety on, you're okay. But if you take that safety off, it's just as good as a bullet to the head. If you're not careful on how much you drink, it, I like I said, I, I there's nothing wrong. Dad's not sitting there saying that drinking is bad and everything else. But at a certain age and everything, we will have a part two to this down, right. down the line because there, this is a vast subject and everything else so i mean there's a lot that we can cover but i know people are not going to read through the whole damn thing that what we're talking about i mean it is an important subject maybe it can save a young kid's life who watches this video or watches you all the time and everything maybe they'll be like hey that might be me that might be me pay attention to mood swings people please pay attention to mood swings an alcoholic will be so up and down don't don't try to think it that it's automatically ADHD or bipolar or whatever. Not always the case. It can be an alcohol dependency and everything else. And if there else. is that, an alcohol dependency at a young age, find out what they're masking. Because a lot of my friends that are alcoholics, and I still have friends today that are alcoholics, 
they're mm-hmm. masking the pain whenever they're fe- they're in their feelings and they're trying to get out of their feelings. They'll drink until they pass out because mm-hmm. it's easier to drink than it is to be in their own head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because they want to go into a, a fantasy world and everything is perfectly fine, nothing's hurting me psychologically, physically, or whatever. Sometimes uh, people... Like I said, this is going to be the part two, guys. I, I don't want to get too deep into what's going through Dad's head because I'm going to go all over the place with this and everything else. And Lunatic Froggy, my daughter, knows that when I get off base, then I, it gets sporadic and everything else. But alcohol itself, remember, and another thing, please, please, if you're 13, 14, 15 years old, trust me, the major one that gets people to have overdose of alcohol and everything is hard liquor. Hard, it's not beer. It's not beer. It's hard liquor. Your vodkas, your gins, your tequilas, your stuff where you, you might be why? with a friend. You know why? Because of the alcohol content, 100%. No. Hmm? The taste. You taste beer, it tastes bitter and nasty. I like beer, just saying. It still tastes bitter and nasty. You take cupcake vodka. That shit tastes like cupcake. You mm. take, I mean, there's so many different flavors of mm. alcohol that by the time you get done drinking it, you don't realize how many drinks you drank because you're like, oh, one margarita, two margarita, three margarita. Margarita on the floor. <laughs> right, four on the floor. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. But we didn't have that. We didn't have that in my, in my age. We did we not have Everclear. flavored alcohol. I I, well, I I I knew what Everclear. That shit was. You could it came in a two liter bottle. And you could turn around. Everclear is very potent, people. By the way, you can go ahead and just take a match to it, and then, I mean anything that can fucking blow up and start on fire, and you're putting did that too much in your body. What do you think you're doing to yourself? Exactly. Two, okay, so let's take a two liter bottle of Everclear. Three bucks back when I was 14 years old. Mm. Three bucks. Yes. Now, mm. you take, and you're just sitting there and you're chugging it because it tastes like soda. And you go to get up and you fall down. That's how easy it is to get fucking alcohol poisoning. Oh, for sure. For sure. They're making it so it's... They are making alcohol and cigarettes and all of this more attractive to younger kids and increasing the age limit. How about we deter the taste of it so it doesn't taste good? How about we deter, you know, instead of fucking, oh, my kid's an alcoholic, oh, well, or my kid's vaping... Why don't we, we as parents, sit down and figure out what is psychologically going on with those children that they want to vape and they want to drink alcohol because there's something in their mind that they're trying to hide from. And, but also at the same aspect, that's why you need to seek help for your children if you're experiencing this and everything else. Because sometimes it could be just, just a genuine alcohol feeling that they're addicted to. When, when they're starting to get all dizzy and all chattery and loud. If you ever notice when you're around pretty people who drink a lot. And I ain't talking about lunatic dad because I'm loud all the time. But he's loud all the time too. It doesn't matter if I'm drunk. Actually, I'm quiet when I'm drunk. <laughs> well, you got the reverse effect. <laughs> but but normally you always hear a loud drunk. It's the same and everything else. You know, very loud, very, very ignorant, very just Anything comes out of their mouth, and they don't care who they hurt or whatever the case may be. Again, I'm not saying that drinking is bad, but I'm saying make sure you're of the right age, please. Because when you're young, that I mean, trying to beat an addiction when you're young, you don't even know what the hell you're even addicted to anymore. Because when you're older and everything else, like, you know, a lunatic frog or a lunatic dad or whatever the case may be, I know, hey, man. I'm, I'm drinking a little too much. I've been drinking a three, four, five days in a row and everything else, and I'm still craving to drink a, again or whatever. That's a problem. I know that's a problem and everything else. But the children and the youth of America thinks that, no, I just want to fit in. I'm going to be with my friends. I want to go listen to some music and everything else. Be careful. 
if you're a parent and everything else, pay attention to who your kids are hanging out with and everything else. You start smelling alcohol on a child at, like Froggy was saying, 13 years old and everything else. That's ridiculous. No offense, my darling. If you if I smelled alcohol on you, I would have whooped your ass back then right. and everything else. I mean, and even I, though you're a girl. I get where my mom was coming from. I'd rather have you do it in front of me than do it behind my back. I get the logic in a sense what you're saying but the ramifications of that uh is i mean it, that could have gotten a lot worse thank well, god that you were strong enough to make that decision to exactly. say all right thank well, god and not only that literally you got to think about it children nowadays they're out there having sex right we're talking about alcohol here why are you talking about sex <laughs> because Go it ahead. goes hand in hand they can it, it literally can <laughs> hand in hand sure right your child's out there getting blackout drunk, not remembering mm -hmm. what happened. Takes the dude home. Oh, look, your child just got either an STD or is pregnant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't remember nothing from the night. And we will be addressing, as far as pregnancy and women and everything else, what the Supreme Court did. That'll be another one in the future, guys, that oh, yeah. dad, dad's a little bit irritated by this. But we'll save that for another fucking day right <laughs> right that that write that down in your ledger <laughs> uh you know but i agree 100 percent with you i mean just imagine imagine that uh you're going out having a good time at 13 14 15 or whatever and you're still a damn kid your damn self and everything else and you get pregnant and everything else think about that think about that people would you have done the same thing if you were straight and sober and what you should have been at that age now mind you dad drank when he was 13 14 15 too Okay, I'm not, I'm not sitting saying I'm a fucking holy roller. What the purpose of this this simulcast that me and Lunatic Froggy are doing is, hey, pay attention. There are ramifications for everything that you put into your body as far as alcohol. Things can happen and they will happen. Not maybe. They will negatively impact your life if you're starting that shit at a very young age. Exactly. But, Dad, it is coming close to our time. Okay, we got many more parts, twos, threes, five, tens, twenties, everything right. else. <laughs> so, Dad, please tell me yes. your final thoughts. My final thoughts are, please, everybody, please listen to Lunatic Dad. I raised eight kids. I know the signs of alcoholism and the difference between alcoholism and just having a good time once in a while. Okay, there is a big difference. I mean, we're going to cover, we're, I actually love this subject, so we're probably going to have like part two, three, four, five, and everything else. All depends on, are you guys going to interact and everything else? Give us your thoughts. Give us maybe something you might have went through. Maybe you might want us to cover as far as what alcohol with teens are and everything else. At some point in time, we will go ahead and do one with the alcohol with the adults and everything, a different type of uh, problems that that can cause and everything else. And that is a totally different caboodle and everything else but guys make sure that you give lunatic froggy my daughter a thumbs up and everything else she's been busting her ass and she like I, i've been saying it over and over again she got the best damn content out there and i love her very much and hey i'm gonna have a drink on you except it's freaking coke zero right which uh, that's a whole nother addiction that we could get onto a long tangent about is mm -hmm. sugar but I want to thank everybody for watching these videos. We greatly appreciate you. Make sure that you tell us exactly, like, what you want to hear, what you want us to talk about, what you went through as a child that caused you to either drink so much or to stay away from alcohol. And I know that a lot of people use alcohol as an excuse. There's no reason for it if you mm -hmm. can't look yourself in the mirror for 10 seconds without going nuts it means there's something psychologically going wrong and you need to get professional help 10 seconds i bet you it's harder than you think but you got that right i love you and i hope you have an amazing day happy easter love y'all bye Bye!